Hi everyone, it's Jessica here and welcome back to another card tutorial. Today I'd like to show you a way of incorporating light up elements into a funful card. So let's get right into it. Let's start by preparing the cardstock panel. This is a traditional A2 size card, but this opens a little differently from the cards that I've shown before. Typically for these portrait type cards, I like to cut and score my cards so that it opens up. This way the card can stand up by itself and it's easier to photograph. For today's project though, I cut and scored it a little differently so it actually opens to the left instead of flipping up. Then we're going to make one more cut. We're going to trim off two more inches from the front panel and here we have the bases for our fun full card. Since half of the front panel is trimmed off, we'll be able to see the inside of the card. It's the perfect opportunity to showcase any cool pattern paper that you may have. I decided to go with a more subtle look and chose this wood grain paper that is just one shade lighter than my cardstock. The two yellow paper actually complements each other very well, so I'm really happy with the result. Then I use a scallop die to cut out a piece of white cardstock. This is actually a rectangular die, but you can cut it halfway, turn the cardstock, and then cut it from the other side to create a shorter version. For today's card design, I wanted a scallop square, but I didn't have the die, so I'm using this trick to create my own scallop square. I'm making a birthday card today and chose this really cute piggy image as the focal point of the card. I stamped it with Memento Tuxedo Black ink and colored the image with some alcohol markers. After coloring the front panel, we also need to prepare a smaller piece of white cardstock. I cut it to be a little bit smaller than the scallop square piece. You can also use a nesting die and just use the next smaller size. The smaller white panel will be the base to create our light up mechanism. I then created a really simple light up circuit. The battery holder is placed beneath the balloon image and the LED sticker is placed underneath the candle. I feel like sometimes you need to be creative with the battery placement so that it's an easy cue for the recipient to press on it. I feel like this image is perfect though because it's really simple with three things and it's easy to press around and activate the light up mechanism. Once you check that the light up circuit is functional, you can then use foam tape to adhere the two pieces together. Then I used some flower dies to cut out some really cute flowers using the coordinating die set. And since we have the die cutting machine out, I also embossed the half front panel of the card. I only embossed the cardstock partially so that the edges are actually not embossed. It's a technique I created by accident, but I'm quite pleased with how it looks. I also die cut a smaller card insert and adhere it behind the front panel. This way I'll have an area to write my sentiment and I don't have to worry about the sentiment showing through the front of the card. Lastly, I adhere these small flower clusters and added rhinestones to the center of each flower. And that completes today's fun full light up card. I hope this video inspires you to create light up cards with fun folds and incorporate the mechanism in different ways. I really have fun creating this project and I hope you enjoy watching it too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!